Hi, Erica with Wild Tree here. I'm so glad you're watching another video. Tonight for dinner, we're making Wild Tree All Natural Pizza. So I'm starting off with the spaghetti sauce seasoning and making the sauce for the pizza crust. So I'm using my uh, spaghetti sauce, hearty spaghetti sauce blend, and you add it to about 28 ounces of any kind of tomato product. So I use two cans of crushed tomatoes. So I've already added the one tablespoon to my pot and I'm gonna let this simmer for about 20 minutes and I will come back and show you how to make the crust. Hi, we're ready to preheat the oven and I'm gonna put my baking stone in the oven just so that the stone is nice and hot when I have my crust um, done. So we're gonna preheat the directions say to 500. So we're gonna just put the stone in there so we can get toasty. And we're gonna go ahead and make our whole wheat pizza crust. And we have two different kinds of pizza dough. We have the whole wheat pizza dough and then we just have the regular pizza dough. Um, we have made both of them. They're both really, really delicious. Pretty easy. I'm really the type of cook that if it has to take too many steps, I tend to not do it. But this has been so definitely worth it. Because you make the either make it into pizzas or you can make garlic knots or you can make cheesy cheesy bread. After we're done working this for a couple minutes, we're going to cover this and let it sit on the floured surface for 10 minutes. So now my pizza dough has um, set for about 10 minutes. So now I'm going to form it into the circle for the hot stone. And then we're going to put the toppings on and, um, and then bake it for, I think it says about 14 minutes. And obviously you can put any kind of toppings on you want. You can put green peppers and mushrooms and pepperoni, sausage, onions. Make your pizza however you want. Now we're going to put our cheese on the top. And this happens to be a Mexican blend of cheese. But this house, we use what we have. Lots of cheese is good. But we're going to go ahead and put this in and we're going to bake it. The direction says 8 to 12 minutes, so I'm going to just put it on 8. Just for um, safety's sake, put the timer on 8. It's still The oven's still at 500 degrees, so it's pretty hot. And um, I'm going to check on it since my sauce was hot and my... my uh, crust was still hot. I'm thinking eight minutes should probably do it. We'll just check the cheese and take it out and I will get back to you when our pizza is done. 